put the value of FL and FH together so we can get FR is under root FL and FH that is equivalent to under root 1000 into 30,000 ok so it will be the under root 3 into 10 power 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 into the 10 power 7 what we can get here the root 30 into 10 power 3 so the root 30 into the 10 power 3 ok uh, I think that will be the almost uh, are around the 5 point some kilohertz ok the value of the root 30 so if we summarize here bandpass filter a simple passive bandpass filter can be made by a cascading together a single low pass filter and a high pass filter and the frequency range is in between a lower cutoff and the higher cutoff so the width of these two frequency range is known as the band width and the center or the resonant frequency is the geometric mean of the lower cutoff and the higher cutoff frequency and the amplitude of the output signal from a bandpass filter or any passive RC filter for that matter will always be the less than that of the input signal that means the maximum gain is always the 0 dB and the passive bandpass filter is classed as a second order filter here because of that there is first order high pass and the first order low pass that means the second order filter that means there is two reactive components in the filter so if there are n reactive components in the filter then it will be known as a nth order passive filter ok but there is a still a problem in this circuit at lower frequency the impedance of the high pass filter changes so at low pass frequency low pass filter there is a loading effect problem so for the for the overcoming of this problem what we can do here in the middle of these two filters okay at this point uh, we can introduce a buffer now let's uh, simulate this circuit into the multi sim for the passive bandpass filter we need two capacitor and two register so first select the capacitors place it here and then select the register place the register here and what we need more we need there is a power we need a power supply and a ground and an input signal so we can get into the source power source ground and IC voltage now first design a high pass filter so for high pass filter rotate it connect these two filter together and then copy it paste it here now rotate it by 90 degree connect R2 ok connect C1 with the source ok fine so now let's change the value c1 is 15.8 nanofarad r1 is 10 kilo ohm r2 is also the 10 kilo ohm and c2 is 510 nanofarad 
now connect the board plot input ground of course it is also ground and then output let's run it see here frequency response 1 kilohertz lower cutoff at minus 3 db sorry I think there is some problem here let me see it please consider it 510 picofarad earlier we have calculated it 510 nanofarad but it is 510 picofarad so now run it see here lower cutoff minus 3 db is almost around the 1 kilohertz and upper 3 db frequency minus 3 db see it's at around 30 kilohertz thanks for watching and stay tuned for next tutorial